My homily for the 27th Sunday in Ordinary Time, the 3rd of October 2021. Our readings today explain why the Church teaches as it does on relationships, marriage and family. In our first reading, God says, It is not good that man should be alone. And so we created woman as a helpmate. I think that's a wonderful term, helpmate. Something for you husbands and wives to keep in mind. You're called to be mates and to help each other. Man and woman are made for each other by God. The reading then goes on to speak of marriage. A man leaves his father and mother and joins himself to his wife, and they become one body. The relationship between man and woman is unique, because only that relationship can be, as our psalm says, fruitful, with children like shoots of the olive. Any two people can love each other, and that is good, if it is truly self-giving and caring. But only a man and woman can bring a child into the world as a fruit of that love. I always say at baptisms that one of the most wonderful things a man and woman can do is bring a child into the world. We call it co-creation. It is divine-like, working with God to create life. And so a marriage between a man and a woman is unique. Nothing can be considered the equal of it. That's why, no doubt, Jesus in our Gospel emphasises the oneness of man and woman in marriage. What God has joined together, man must not divide. Marriage is a great good for the couple, for their children, and for society. However, the Jews allowed divorce. The disciples had their doubts, questioning Jesus on this teaching. And we all know couples whose marriages have broken down. The church acknowledges this reality and seeks to help couples by the annulment process. Marriage is a sacrament. It is of a special order. And we need our challenging ideals if we're not to become complacent and always look for the easy way out. Jesus showed his love in suffering. As our second reading says, and there will always be suffering where there is love. Jesus concludes the gospel appropriately by speaking of children. It is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Children are special and parenthood is a great vocation. That's why priests are celibate. One vocation is enough for anybody unless you are exceptional. I pray for all of you who are parents. May God bless you in your great vocation. You have your challenges, but I pray you may have many blessings and joys also.